Hi guys and welcome to my Loftcraft Forever channel. Natalia here and I like to tell you something that actually I mistakenly pointed out to the other side. If you remember my unboxing uh, by Peggy Buy and I edit actually I um, unboxed this beautiful beautiful oil painting by number canvas so I would love to clarify because you wanted me to do review and I was waiting for some emails to clarify some stuff so here it is this is painting by Annie 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 by how would you pronounce name I'm just gonna zoom in for you so you can see Annie by a n n e by so this is gorgeous painting by numbers it's 8.99 US dollars and it says frameless mm, let's see paint by numbers frameless Friday DIY tree door abstract oil paint and canvas so yes this is gorgeous gorgeous painting by numbers by anybody so guys I'm apologize for a little bit incorrect um, Oopsie. Okay, incorrect um, a link, but I did fix it already on my uh, original uh, review video, and I will post link below to the site uh, also in my video for today. But let's just um, see one more time because some of you probably just now found out my channel possible so I would love to show you guys how this look like so as we see here this is size 40 by 50 and look at all the colors that's what kind of drive me to this painting because beautiful beautiful colors and it's this one looks like a sunset warm colors with the tree in it and this one kind of cold and icy but all those blues colors it's gorgeous it will be look so pretty I think when it's done proper way and talking about proper way there is no wrong way it depends how you like to do your painting by numbers there's a different um, different uh, styles of painting First, let's see one more time this canvas, guys. The canvas is gorgeous. Really good details. Look at those lines. All numbers, everything is clear. And all those little tiny, tiny lines, don't be afraid of them. Because you have, you have a tools to work with it. So, here it is the brushes guys I'm gonna show you everything one more time and I apologize uh, for company to link it up over on at first but everybody wanted review quickly so yes you have this findings here to make your frame there is a little tiny screws let not to lose them okay And then you have brushes. The flat brush is good for a big area where you have like a bigger spots on your canvas. And two little tiny brushes is good all for those little tiny lines. See how pointy they are. So it will be easy to do painting on all those little tiny tiny lines and also important fact and something for you to remember if you let me just say for example here okay okay let's see this number six okay so if you any chance start painting this uh, this uh, area in here and you paint it over number six and all of a sudden you got distracted and you didn't finish all the way here and then you don't know what color it is right you come back you already forgot because you already painted over 
and next day you just wouldn't remember. So the key is, and it's really good actually, that you have this sheet of paper they sent you with uh, this piece that I call a cheat sheet, which you can go and find, find that number six in here, come on let's focus, and here it is. So you can go back to this sheet of paper and you can see all the squares. It's easy to find the missing piece that you need. So this is, is a great future for painting with numbers to give you this sheet. That way if mistakenly you forget what number, what color you need to paint, you always can go back in here and do the, you know, just uh, for reference for you to see what color you need to do. Now, they have, let me put this aside. Okay, so also, let me a little bit fix in here and maybe a little bit zoom close. Okay, there is lots and lots of colors and I'm I like in you know, a happy colors. Okay, we have here from one to six, from seven to twelve from 13 to 18, from 19 to 24, all colors is here. They all pre-mark, but if you have a few, maybe, uh, you know, maybe you did already before painting by numbers and you have many of this left over, it's good actually to maybe write down something on the back to point it out that this painting belongs to this canvas, not the other canvas that you have. So you don't mix up the, of the colors unless it's exactly the same colors. I don't know if company all have the same colors, probably not, because it doesn't have like a DMC code on them or something like that. So let's see the quality of the oil paint in this uh, little jars. It's a little tiny jars, but don't be afraid that you're not gonna have enough. As small as it look like, it's go a long way. So I'm gonna open one, and they are really tight. So good, oh, look at this color. Oh, this is so pretty color, guys. I would love to have my nail polish like this. I think I have something similar. It's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. And it's, um, in some point, if this little bit too thick for your little tiny lines, what I do, I grab my tiny brush, dip in the water, and dip in the paint. Well, for example, in here, there's lots of paint in the lid. So I would drop a little water in here and just like, you know, mix it, mix it, mix it to make it not as thick as it is. So it's easy to go through all those tiny, tiny, bitty lines, okay? So you can do what you can do. For example, if you have, there is a blending techniques, it has a patchy techniques. Well, what patchy? I call patchy, it's not really patchy, but uh, what I mean when you, I'm gonna show you on a canvas and maybe one day we will do tutorial together. So for example, if you have, which to find, let's see. Oh, well, let's see this on a bigger square a little bit, okay. You have number eight, and it's, and here number six, I believe. Okay, so if you have this and this color, and you color exactly by the lines, you will have like a patchwork diamond painting, okay. Now, if you mix, each color a little bit with like on a separate containers a little bit of number six and a little bit of white same as this one number eight with a little bit of white paint and then you kind of like a smudge it together these lines between those uh, two colors that way you will have 
like a smooth transition from one color to another or you know it, it looks beautiful the other like it's beautiful either way or just by the squares painting or you little bit like smudging colors to each other it will give you that kind of smooth strokes and not just like a sharp edges okay so there's many different way you can do and we will do together when I have kind of better set up maybe on my uh, on my craft table that I I got it and if you're interested in the artist table I will link below for you guys to Amazon if some of you wants to buy it, this is gonna be uh, affiliate link to the table it's not mean it's not gonna go from your pocket it's just if you decide to buy the Amazon will pay me few cents there a few there you know that's what it is but it's not from your pocket so um, I appreciate if you do so this is gorgeous painting by numbers by Anibai and I uh, apologize for a wrong link before that so I did fix the link and thank you so much Richard for sending me this beauty I really really appreciate and thank you and um, I hope you forgive me for the little bit mistake but you know what we're gonna do lots of tutorials together and I will show you guys both ways how we're gonna paint or we're gonna paint by the numbers together or we're gonna make like a little corner somewhere and try to smudge it and see how that gonna look that will be fun but boy do I love this yes I do this is absolutely gorgeous so guys check it out link below I will link this diamond painting um, on the bottom of the description box and check the site and all because there's a lots of beautiful stuff up there and if you never heard about it which I never heard about this before myself and when I went up there oh my god I'm gonna buy everything who am I speak too fast I really need to slow down <laughs> it's just I have so much to do guys so yes thank you so much for stopping by I hope you enjoyed this little short video I know you all busy and lately I'm uploading like every day because I feel like I'm behind and I want to share with you more and more and I just I can't wait to next day to upload I have to upload like you know same time as I upload to my computer so you can see it because everybody have their own taste, their own um, creative side, what you like to do with this or that, um, you know, particular stuff. So yes, I will talk to you guys later. And here you go again, Annie Bye. Thank you so much for sending me this beautiful, beautiful painting. And I will do my best to create this beauty. So don't forget to subscribe on a way because I do often some giveaways guys and yeah check it out my channel see if you, if you can find something interesting because there's something for everyone okay <laughs> okay guys I love you all have a good day bye bye